as a new YouTuber, it's been really interesting starting off with my channel. Um, I think it's it's February 21st today, and so I've been active with my YouTube channel for about two months. And I've been consistently uploading about one to two videos per week. And my whole mission for starting this YouTube channel was just to create another creative outlet, but also to really help people to become the entrepreneurs of their lives. And it's just been really interesting figuring out how to get started off on the right track because um, it's very it's very difficult. Like I've seen a lot of people on YouTube for months and years and a lot of them haven't gained a lot of traction. But as a new YouTuber, um, it seems that when I log on to YouTube, I'm just inundated with hundreds, if not thousands of different YouTube channels who are all about helping new YouTubers to grow on YouTube. Well, this has kind of presented me with a dilemma because as a small YouTube channel, as a new YouTuber, there seems to be millions of different ways and different strategies to grow on YouTube. But I'm wondering, is it really that complicated? One of the interesting observations about these YouTube growth channels is that they seem to be growing on how to sell new YouTubers on how to grow their channels. And I found that to be interesting because in my world as a coach, there's a similar trajectory. Um, there's a lot of coaches whose whole business model and whose whole shtick is to help other coaches to grow their coaching business. But the irony is that many of these coaches do not have an established coaching business. They're growing their coaches, their coaching business on selling people on the idea that they have a successful coaching business. Well, the same conundrum uh, is equitably uh, existent within the YouTube sphere it, and it's displayed because there are thousands if not tens of thousands of YouTube channels whose whole purpose is to help other YouTubers grow their channels but the irony is that many of these YouTube growth channels do not exactly have traction themselves many of these growth YouTubers don't have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of subscribers so I'm wondering, like, how authentic is it for somebody to have a YouTube growth channel when they don't have that many subscribers themselves? If you think about this conundrum with a clear, open, and, and conscious way of thinking, how many ways is it really possible to grow on YouTube? I've seen different uh, growth channels talk about consistency, posting, you know, on a weekly, if not daily basis. I've seen some growth channels talk about quality, like making really high quality, really good content videos that are attractive to your clientele. I've also seen other YouTube growth channels talk about SEO, search engine optimization, and how to use tools like TubeBuddy or uh, other you know tips and tricks to better find videos or video content that people are searching for. But outside of those couple of, you know, principles that I've seen these YouTube growth channels offer, it's like, how else can you really grow on YouTube? Like, how can you really build a channel about growing your YouTube channel when there's only a finite amount of ways to really grow on YouTube? It just doesn't seem that authentic to me because every new YouTuber is trying to figure out how to grow on YouTube. And so it does make sense that a YouTube growth channel um, is serving a niche that is of high demand. But at the end of the day, like how many ways can you really grow on YouTube? And I'm just really struggling to figure out like how authentic these channels are. Because it seems that any YouTuber who's qualified to offer growth tips has built their channel on promoting high quality content consistently that search engine optimize without talking about how to grow their YouTube channel. Like for example, if I'm looking at other business coaching channels, the ones who are the most successful to me are the ones who are talking about business coaching. If I'm looking at somebody who has a reaction channel, I'm looking at somebody who puts out react videos. If I'm looking at somebody who has a beauty channel, I'm looking at somebody who's putting out content about beauty. And it seems like the best people within those niches 
should be the ones talking about how they grew their YouTube channel off of their niche. It just just doesn't make sense to me how one can build a YouTube channel talking about the same repetitive growth strategies. Because can it can your YouTube growth strategy really change that much over time? Does the YouTube algorithm really have that much influence over how your YouTube channel grows? Is there really a proven way to figure out how to go viral? I don't know, but I'm really curious about how powerful this YouTube growth algorithm really is. And I know I'm brand new. I've only been at YouTube for two months or less. And it makes sense that it's going to take some time, some energy, some focus. It's going to take consistency. It's going to take me producing a lot of quality videos and videos that uh, my viewers or people in my niche are looking for. But how powerful really is this YouTube algorithm? Is it fair that YouTube makes you wait months until they blast your videos out to other random viewers? Is it fair that the YouTube algorithm has the power to determine winners and losers? Is it fair that the YouTube algorithm doesn't equitably show new YouTubers videos out to the same uh, market clientele that established YouTube channels uh, are? I don't know, but it's just really interesting because like I said, in the beginning, it's super difficult. Like I sincerely wish and hope that YouTube is actually putting my videos out in the ether to allow people to judge whether my content is good or not. Like it would just make sense if YouTube were able to show every new YouTubers videos to a thousand random people to figure out if we're really uh, creating good content or not. Because in the beginning, like I have no clue if I'm making good content, if it's valuable, if it's optimized, I have no clue because it just doesn't seem like YouTube is giving me or any other new YouTube channels a shot. Like why do we have to wait to that majestic day when we get this massive hockey stick growth that we are validated by the YouTube algorithm? I have no clue. But I know I'm, I'm going to keep uh, trucking at this. I'm going to keep staying focused. I'm going to keep being dedicated to creating as much high quality and viable content as possible. But I can't lie and say that like I, that I don't feel a little bit discouraged because like I have no clue if my videos are resonating with people or not. But it just seems like people in this YouTube growth channel niche are getting favorable treatment because each time these people put out a video, it seems like they're getting more and more views. But like I said, at the end of the day, how can you really grow on YouTube? Like there can't be that many different strategies and tactics to do so. Like what is really the secret sauce to grow on YouTube? As preface, this isn't a bashing of YouTube or any of the YouTube growth channels. This is just a serious question and critique of how the system really works. Because like, I really believe in myself. I believe in the quality of my videos. I believe that my content is unique and highly value adding. I'm just not in true favor of how the system currently works because as a new YouTuber, I'm not being incentivized to create videos. But on the antithesis, like I understand why the algorithm works the way it does. See, every day there's thousands, if not tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of new YouTube channels and people are putting out new videos, but they're doing it with the expectation that they're going to go viral and blow up immediately. And just in life, that doesn't happen. Like, just like in business, you have to be consistent. You have to be committed. You have to have a deep burning desire to stay on your entrepreneurial journey. And the same principles can be attributed to your YouTube journey and growth as a YouTuber. But like I said, I just wish that I can get some more constructive feedback from YouTube and from other channels to let me know, am I on the right track? Like, should it really take six months to a year for me to figure that out? Should I have to wait for this magical moment that someday my channel is going to blow up that I'll feel validated or that I'll know uh, what I'm doing is right? And like I said, I, I really do agree with a lot of these YouTube growth channels that you shouldn't be doing this just to monetize. You shouldn't be doing this just to go viral. You shouldn't be doing YouTube just to become famous. 
I get that. But at the same time, like if I'm giving my time, my energy to share like my thoughts with the world, I should get some some type of feedback in return. And like I said, I, I have to be patient. I have to be focused. I have to be consistent. But it would just be nice to know if I'm on the right track or not. And I'm really curious to like, do other new YouTubers, do other small YouTube channels feel the same way that I do? Um, because I, I'd really love to connect with you and figure out like, how are you growing on YouTube? What do you think about these YouTube growth channels? What do you think about the growth strategies? Because like I said, my, my two cents on this is that there can't be that many ways to grow on YouTube. Like I know the algorithm is changing and, this, and the platform is constantly improving itself. But outside of consistency, outside of quality, outside of search engine optimization, like what else can you really do to grow on YouTube? Um, like I said, drop your comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and let's, let's really have this positive discussion within the YouTube community because like I really want to see other small YouTubers like myself get the opportunity to blow up because there are a lot of incredible super awesome YouTube channels that just aren't getting the time of day and aren't getting promoted. Why? I don't know, but I just don't think it's fair that people who are talking about growing on YouTube, uh, how these individuals keep getting so much play and so much promotion because at the end of the day, they're not that differentiated. Like you can't have that many different types of YouTube growth channels getting this much attention. Like I, I really believe the attention should be put on people putting out authentic content in their lane. Because if your whole shtick is about growing on YouTube and you haven't really grown on YouTube by creating content outside of talking about growing on YouTube, <laughs> to me, that's just... I don't know. I just don't really believe in that. So uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, thanks for watching this video. Until next time.